is a little bit about a sort of Jekyll and Hyde character called Dr. Schmitz. Now, jo Dr. Schmitz lives in Muswell Hill. He's got a secret laboratory in a big house on the top of his hill where he's doing slightly morally questionable things upon small animals and himself. And in one of his uh, varied and questionable experiments, he decides to try and become the perfect superhuman being. And he ends up as this sort of Jekyll and Hyde character he was rather wonderful at the night time and very uh, amiable and friendly, but in the daytime he's rather grouchy. And the name of this song is Dr. Schmitz and His Monster. Dr. Schmidt 
to modify the laws of nature. Who would think it made a supernatural creature? Dr. Schmidt said his mother is one or the other. It's too late now to discover anyway. Dr. Schmidt said his mother is one or the other. There's no happy ever after anyway. It's one or the other. It's too late now to discover anyway. Dr. Schmidt said his monster, neither one or the other. There's no happy ever after anyway. Dr. Schmidt said his monster, is he one or the other? It's too late now to discover anyway. Dr. Schmidt said his monster, neither one or the other. There's no happy ever after anyway. Shallow in the monitor. Thank you. So we started this duo and I was playing the saxophone, then I started writing songs, which is not always practical when you play the saxophone. So I started playing this, um, which is a melody. And so I was writing in English and then Rupert said, no, 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 no. You're Belgian. People want something exotic, so please write in your own language. Is, so. is, Bel is Belgium exotic? Well, you know, it's more exotic than Britain, I suppose, if you come from here. What can I say? That's all I can offer. <laughs> um, but anyways, I wrote this song in French, and it's called um, Flipped. This has an English title, but it's the story of three men who like dancing so much. They only dance all the time, all the time, and they never stop to wait and wonder about the problems in life. But it makes them so happy when they dance that it ends up making the world a better place anyway. Uh. Il aimait bien 
hauteur, tout fut de ses hauteurs, tout innocent, jamais il ne cessa. Il tournoyait au point de presque sans l'envol, et jamais il ne s'arrêta. Pour réfléchir à l'état du monde et à tous ces dangers, non, rien ne les intéressa. Il laissait de la musique ambiance des enfants Il disait ne pas vouloir faire face au monde réel. Et pourtant, il semblait toujours vivre dans le moment, n'est-ce pas, la seule réalité qui contient ne parlait pas d'avenir. Mais il ne voulait jamais dormir de monde manqué un bout de leur vie, qui leur semblait déjà tellement court. Il y a la vérité à tout est assez en tout il sent jamais il ne sait ça Et ton moyen au point de presse sans foi jamais il ne s'arrête Pour réfléchir à l'état du monde et à tous ces dangers nous rien ne les intéresse Ne laisser de la mise en péant des enfants play our big hits. <laughs> we're talking about dancing. We're going to play our big hit single now. Uh, what you don't know is that um, Jenna, Jennifer and I both uh, bathe in champagne and uh, we've been living uh, living the good life now for, for several months and uh, ever since our big big hit single. Um, Are we only playing big amphitheatres? <coughs> just like this one. Yeah, I, I mean I have like caviar sandwiches um, just regularly. I have one for breakfast which was a fishy idea but I have one anyway. And uh, this next song is our big hit single and it's called Mambo Number no. 7. Now it tells the story of a man who falls in love with a girl who is a ballerina. Now the problem is is that she's a bit of a flaky ballerina and she goes off and leaves him for the stage manager at the local ballet. But then the fairy godfather appears because why would it always be the fairy godmother saving people? So the fairy godfather appears and tells him, because he's completely broken hearted, but the fairy godfather tells him, look, don't waste your time pining for this woman. There's plenty of other Fish dancers. The <laughs> There's plenty of uh, other dancers on the, on the dance floor. Plenty of the do other dancers as well. There's tap dancers, there's flamenco dancers, there's plenty of other things. Ballroom dancers. Exactly. If you want to dance the boogaloo on a mashed potato, so shake your tail feather. The fairy godfather tells him, who needs a prima donna ballerina anyway? And that's the name of the song. Or, as we said, Mambo number no. 7. That's your kind of scene 
Do we have any mathematicians in the audience? Any budding mathematicians? Or perhaps even a, a cheeky little engineer? <laughs> a mathematician? Uh, well, there you go. This song is for you, you see. This song is, uh, this song is called The Mathematician, and it's, um, it's about the problems that many of these people face in terms of trying to integrate. The mathematician, ooh, she's 
not cool and she's not appreciated But back in the school she was always underrated So spare a thought for the mathematician The mathematician If X marks the spot Ooh, and if I denotes a series of corrective terms She'll tell you about the girl she never loves The mathematician She finds it difficult to integrate Ooh, the social function to affiliate But then she's never one to deviate The mathematician tune I composed in France. Um, I am Belgian, but I sometimes go to France, which confuses people. Did they let you in? <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> um, and this is a tune I composed in, in a village in France called Mon Trésor, which means my treasure. This is actually the name of the village. Uh, it's a very surreal little village. Um, most of the big buildings in the village are owned by a Polish family, and they call themselves the princes of Mon Trésor. Um, it's all very surreal, but it's a beautiful countryside area in the middle of France. So when you listen to this, imagine a sunny day just like this one in the countryside. You're very optimistic, aren't you? Well, you know, <laughs> wishful thinking. So, mon trésor. <laughs> Thank you. 
Anybody know what ESP stands for? I said I said that last time I did a gig, and somebody said, "Oh, it's a beer." It's not ESP. It's ESP. Yes, that's right. He's minding it. He's just sending it to you. Aha! <laughs> there you go. I, I, I read your mind, sir. ESP, of course, stands for extrasensory perception, and that's what this song is about. Please. 